Hi guys, Techman here. Right, let's talk EcoFlow Delta Pro. We recently took a look at the AC charging efficiency of the Delta Pro and the results weren't the best. It was about 78% efficient. If you haven't already watched that video, I highly recommend you do so. Link will be in the description. Check it out. Now that video was about the AC charging efficiency of the Delta Pro and the result wasn't as impressive as the unit itself. But what about solar charging or charging via a battery, what I like to call DC charging? The question is, is it any better? And after weeks of testing, I finally have the answer. And if I put it in a nutshell, it's actually worse. And honestly speaking, I wasn't expecting that at all. This definitely can be a good thing. Now, before we run the numbers and take a look at some of the results, it's important to note that it can be difficult to calculate the solar charging efficiency. You can't be 100% accurate. Most of these power stations use what we call buck boost MPPT charge controllers. Now I'm not going to go deep into what that means, but suffice to say there's always going to be some loss during the charging process. And of course, solar charging can be unpredictable. Cloud cover, shading and temperature all play a role in the charging efficiency. But the DC charging efficiency, or charging via battery, is much more stable. And this should, in principle, improve the charging efficiency. But my tests show that this wasn't actually the case. And so, after about 20 charging cycles via solar and DC charging, and countless hours of monitoring, recording and analysing, I've come to learn that it takes somewhere between 46.5 and 50 watts to charge just 1% of the battery. In other words, the solar and DC charging efficiency is somewhere between 72 and 77 percent. Is that bad? It sounds bad. It is. If I'm being honest, I expected much better. So let's take a look at some of the examples. Let's start with solar charging. We start with the unit at 17.08 percent state of charge. And after 112 watts, the Delta Pro is at 19%, and 490 watts to charge it 10%. And after 703 watts, it had only charged 15%. That's a 76% efficiency rate. Here, I start at 67%, and after 548 watts, it's charged 11.5%, a 75.5% efficiency rate. Here's an example of charging via a 24 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. Starting at 92% state of charge, it took 392 watts to charge it to 100%, a mere 73.4% efficiency rate. And to shake things up, I tried charging via a 36 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. And the results were similar, 490 watts to charge it 10%. Now there are some other things that I observe while charging via solar and DC power but I'll leave that for a future video. Perhaps the video where I share with you my overall thoughts on the unit. And so, the bottom line is, EcoFlow need to improve the charging circuitry on the Delta Pro. And that's the bottom line. Speaking of upgrades, is the Delta Pro 3 any better? I don't have a unit to compare with. So, the offer is open to EcoFlow. Send me a unit to compare this to. Go on, you've got nothing to lose. Right guys, as always, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay green, and I'll catch you in the next one.